Hello, welcome to KHS Science. Here, we're going to have a look to see how we could measure the rate of transpiration in a plant using a piece of apparatus known as a photometer. This is the photometer. It is a capillary tube filled with water. And in the tank here is a woody stemmed plant called laurel which I cut from a bush in the school grounds. Now it's been sat here in the photometer throughout the morning. Today is a cold winter's day. The school grounds are covered in cloud. So it took a little bit of time for this cold, sleepy plant to start transpiring, but it's been in a nice cozy prep room all morning. And now it has woken up and is transpiring nicely. Here, you see the red fluid in the capillary tube. This is, um, I've just used some food colouring to make it easier for you to see. And I've been able to watch to see the red colouring move along the capillary tube. And if I wanted to measure the rate of the transpiration, I would measure how far it travelled in a given time and then work out the rate from there. There are all sorts of things I could do to vary the environmental conditions of the plant. For instance, if I was to blow a hairdryer at it with um, lots of nice warm moving air around the leaves, how would that affect the rate of transpiration? Another thing I could do is I could put some Vaseline on the underside of the leaves. What might you predict would happen to the rate of transpiration then? What about temperature? If it's hot or if it's cold or humidity? There are all sorts of ways that you could investigate these different environmental factors and see how they affect the transpiration rate of a plant. Now, I did do a time-lapse video um, showing the, the movement of the, the red food colouring along the tube. So um, you may be able to watch that. Um, possibly pop your favourite song on while you're watching. It's, it's less than five minutes, but a little bit of music always helps when you're watching something that isn't moving, especially fast. I'm hoping that you will be able to see the movement of the water as the plant transpires.